so hi guys and welcome back to our channel and please subscribe to our channel if you like our videos today i'm gonna talk about the pdt rule i don't know if you heard about it or not but it's one of the most important rules for uh, new traders that doesn't have enough capital to make a day trade and it's intact in every uh, u.s stock market and it's a FINRA rule, which means it's the National Association of the Security Dealers um, or the NASDAQ, whatever. But it's a rule that you can avoid it. And it's really important that you will understand what this rule means and, and to take to, to understand that you need to have a certain capital before you can make a day trades most of the traders that i know and in the lesson they teach that does just don't cover it and in my opinion it's too shame it's too bad because you people who come in new and fresh for the news for the u.s stock markets need to understand this rule this rule is one of the most important as a new trader um has and in my opinion it's really and certainly um, not a good rule but it's something that we cannot uh, argue it's something that the government um, made a rule so this is the this is life and this is reality and we we need to handle this rule so now i will go through this PDT rule, okay? PDT rule, it means pattern day trader rule, okay? So, and as I mentioned before, most of the trader just doesn't cover it. And in my opinion, it's one of the most informative and uh, that people who come new to the market has to know. So, what is the PDT rule, the pattern day trader? Pattern day trader is a rule that you must have at least $25,000 in your account pre the trading day uh, to make day trade. And of course, as I mentioned, it's something from the NASDAQ or uh, the NYSE uh, market. So you cannot, you cannot, and every brokerage firm just um, um, check that you have at least 25000 in your account before the trading day so if you don't have twenty five thousand dollars in your account which most of the, the new traders at least doesn't have in their account they cannot and I repeat cannot do any um, day trade activity that is more than three day trades in a five consecutive days trading days which mean you cannot do more than three day trades in a week in a trading week so you have to understand it's like really um, limited limited us and really limit us and really uh, make our lives very very difficult for new traders i of course have more than this uh, capital in my account but most of the traders doesn't don't want to take twenty five thousand dollars and put it in the account just to to be able to day trade so it's very very strict rule which you cannot most of the time you cannot avoid and you have to understand that in order to make a day trade you need to have twenty five thousand uh, dollars in your account um, and if not you can of course do some swing trade which are already covered in my last videos but swing trades which means you can buy something in, in a day and then sell it in a day after, but you don't have the flexibility to do it and it's really limit us and make um, make the trading um, trading days or the trading um, thing for us to be to be very difficult and I don't recommend to do it but because overnight everything can happen it they can send any news and the stock can go up or down and open higher or lower and then you are exposure to these risks 
but if you don't have um, $25,000, you cannot do more than three tra day trades in a, a week uh, day trades. So you cannot make th more than three day trades in five consecutive days. So just to, to understand it and to take it into consideration, please understand that is this rule is um, may, it's be, they wanted to protect the day trades. They don't believe the day trades, but you know, for most of the time, for most of the people, just limit us, limit them and us. So I recommend. Ah, by the way, if you don't, if you pass uh, this uh, rule, or if you do more than three day trades in five consecutive days, then your account will most likely get um, frozen for three months, just to let you know that you don't want to, you know, uh, do, do, to play with the NYSE or the brokerage firms which are reporting everything you do um, to the um, NYSE stock market. So let's say I have an IB account, they are automatically just um, telling you that you passed the three day trades that you have um, in your hand uh, these five days and then you just, you cannot trade anymore. So please take this into consideration when you are starting to trade and understand that if you don't have 25 uh, G's in your account that you are very very restricted and limit uh, in your thing and please understand that whatever you do please don't try to overcome this obstacle because you you will have a trouble so I don't recommend anyone to do it but this is just for you because I know that most of the people most of the traders or the teacher just doesn't cover it and in my opinion it's one of the most important rule that you need to take into your your consideration before you starting to um, before you starting to do any trading and as I always always say to my student please 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 start with paper trading paper trading is one of the most valuable lessons you can do before you start um, taking any of your real money that you save through your life or through your, your years and I really hope that you're doing it step by step before you jump into the water and of course there are ways to overcome this obstacle and you can of course do some things uh, in a way that you will be able to day trade without the PDT rule, the pattern day, day, day trading rule, but um, please understand that or it's not legal or if it's legal it's they have a little bit of um, disadvantages and if it's the if it's something that it's not in the US it's a broker that's not in the US or also if it's something that um, the, the commission are very very high because they know that the people who are trading in this brokerage firm just doesn't have the capital to do it through um, IB or any other broker so and so they take a very high commissions and but there is a way of course there is a way that people can avoid this thing but I don't recommend it but if you have any question uh, you can email us and I can give you um, a way to do it legally for sure uh, something it's it's okay you can do it but it it will be uncomfortable and if you would if you please if you like these videos and you like us please subscribe to our channel and I will upload some um, more another some uh, videos that will be very informative and will help you in your way of trading 
um, because I think that people just doesn't cover it and it's a very 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 um, very 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 information that you have to take into consideration before you start trading so please subscribe us uh, in the link below and we'll see you in the next videos i hope you enjoy it and see you next time bye bye